and welcome everybody here in Twitch chat and everybody on YouTube for some Scion Sejuani. This is going to be kind of like a stompy deck where we're going to be playing some large units with Overwhelm and then making them even bigger. We do care about Plunder. We're going to have some Plunder enablers like Blade Edge and Death's Hand, some things that can do Nexus damage besides just attacking with Overwhelm uh, units because we want to turn on Plunder for a couple of cards. One, Wolf Rider. Uh, ramping us up, getting us to the top end a little faster, but then also the Tusk Raider. That's kind of what, what was uh, put together here by the person that donated the deck was putting together uh, Tusk Raider with Scion, uh, playing those two together, and of course Edgewani. But you know, double the power and health of all the allies in your deck, so then you're going to level up your Scion super fast because uh, you're going to have really big stuff. We're going to have Hearthguard, uh, Avros and Hearthguard buffing everything up too. Your Omen Hawks getting a little bit of buffs in as well. And then, yeah, we're going to have just big Overwhelm things and kind of attack with big Overwhelm things. And that's kind of the the goal of our deck. So let's see how it works together, Scion and Sejuani. We're going to head on over to Normal with it just being a, a meme tier deck, Tusk Raider plus Scion. And we'll, we're going to play five games. All right, Action Sever. Action Sever is pretty good. Some good test. We'll send the Hearth Guards back and start Raider into Rider. Actually, let's send Wolf Rider back also. Yeah, that, that team of badge is definitely my favorite also. All right, great curve. Okay. First plunder. For Sejuani. I've got your back. This land is ours. Steady now. A fight. My duty's done. Hmm. All right, so that keeps me from attacking for this this round. Further, bingo. Oh, I'm sorry. I was immune. Almost got it. Do you think they've found any treasure yet? I know they've been looking. You're covered. I'm going to save this Death's Hand because, you know, it can do that Plunder Nexus damage for, uh, like, you know, when we need it. Let's get Avros and Hearthguard in play first, you know, before we're drawing more units. And I thought about just open attacking because of this line. Scores to settle, crooks to kill. You know how it is. Kinda want to shoot that. Well, let's wait. We may need this for Tusk Raider, and they could just save it with something. I'm probably gonna be discarding this Roar, Roar of the Slayer. I think that's my plan right now for the Great Position, unless we find something else to discard. Man, if I go Death's Hand, they can have one mana, uh, you know, plus two, plus one, Shapestone. Definitely wish I could have them both available. That's what I'm talking about. Big overwhelm. Cracks goes bag loot. Blah blah. She gets it. Well, aren't we an odd couple? Hmm. 
Only two for Sejuani, because with all these uh, Waking Sands, they've done a good job keeping me from uh, getting different plunders. You're in good hands now. All right, actually, let's. Man, I want to do this. Uh, maybe I just wait. I want to play that Death Hand right now so that. Then we can like roar, you know, like they play like a sever and we roar the slayer it, but I guess we can just kind of find out. Make sure they have that, yeah. Alright, so I'm going to be leveled up. Nothing's lost, it's just waiting to be found. And you won't believe what we found today. Huh. It's a trap. Maybe they thought they were getting the other absolver. Danger pays. Oh, spell shield is a thing, right? Well, that could have gone better, but I think we're okay. <laughs> yeah, spell shield's a thing. I get the guards, Bob gets the goods. Who is left to kill? Today we fight as one. Make it worth my while. <laughs> Your funeral. <laughs> Dark Roar just like I was like, does Roar go through spell shield? I, go where the trouble uh, I guess the answer is no. It's it does not go through spell shield. Alright, we'll take the win. Avros and Hearthguard looking good. And Omenhawk, you know, just getting those big buffs. I like it. Yeah, normal Scion, not enough. We need to buff the Scion up. <laughs> All Demacia. Demacia is a difficult region. Alright, these are gone. We have the attack token round 6, which is good for Sejuani. Um, we're going to send back Roar the Slayer also, because it's probably just going to kill like some random little 2-2 or something. Some some. All Demacia can be difficult though. Yeah, and they have Garen. We all know how good Garen is. Hey, got free attack. Cool. I like free attacks. Hmm. That's not bad. By the strength of our convictions. They are going pretty slow over there. Good for us. I'll be surprised if we lose this game. Guess anything's possible. They appeared out of nowhere. Leave nothing standing. I'm going to hold on to the full chance. I'll let the lost soul die. We have a, a, another great physician in hand. Remember the fallen. Be strong. These are dark times. Said anything's possible. I just want to get this these buffs in as soon as possible, but this is a good time to, you know, death's hand the dawn speakers. I want to get, get Avros and Hearthguard working. Stand and fight. Avrosans, stand 
Stand together. Mm. Maybe I should be doing Nexus damage with this, like with leveling up Sejuani and the Plunder and stuff. We're at 3 out of 5 right now. That could have been 4, this could have been 5. I would like to kill that. But you don't always get what you want. So I'll keep both of both of my units alive at one health. Alright, Scion's leveled up. Four out of five. Our banner will lead the way. Bristle, attack. Ride onward. Stand strong. Never mind, that did not work out like I was hoping. I was imagining they were going to let, like, one of these through, and then... Um, block Sejuani, but... It's not the it's not the worst for me, though, if we just keep Sejuani leveled up and alive. Oh, never mind. We are not going to keep Sejuani leveled up and alive. So, is there anything good for me to do? That's a lot of stuff dying. Not really. Okay, so this looked a lot better before. Fight or die. We're still good. We still got this. Yeah. Yeah, we still got this. We still have Lost Soul. We fight for those who cannot. And now we have double hearth guard on everything. All right, more champions? No. So we only have the one champion so far. I guess our opponents only played like one champion also. Okay, so it's currently going to do uh, 6 damage. Make that 4 damage. And if they, if they have a sharp side, I just lose. It doesn't really matter. So I guess I could use the Blade's Edge, because if they have a sharp side, I'm going to lose anyway. 
Because a sharp sight kills like that blocker, then we don't do the damage. I still got a lot of cards over there. Well, I thought we were going to still be good, but I guess not. We just really petered out. We stopped drawing units, right? Like, we just kept on drawing these spells. We don't have very many spells in the stack, either, because we have... Our, all of our units are really buffed up, but we only have ten spells in the deck. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. We've drawn seven of the ten spells in our deck. Too many spells. In the name of our land. GG's about it. Good game. Demacia can be tough. That's what I'm saying. Demacia decks are difficult. If we had one more champion, I think we win that. Like, I think... Right? Because, like, one, like, a leveled up... Or an overwhelmed Scion probably kill them. Just need one other... Champion. I should probably send Hearthguard back, but I don't know. It's Hearthguard. I don't have stuff like round two, round three right now, but that's what our draw steps are for, right? Like, we're going to buff him up with Omen Hog. So I'm keeping, keeping the two drop right on top. So now we're going to draw our two drop. Close. Let's take play this. Not the best use of Omen Hawk, but oh well. So we of course want to do this this round. So now we got um, empty mana gem plunder. Yeah, I think the game's in a good spot if... That's a that's awesome. Conchologist is amazing. Why were we not playing Conchologist before? Anyway, I think the game's in a good spot if uh, Demacia is good. That's probably true. Game 1 that we won... We started drawing Sejuani and Scion after our buffs. Game two that we lost, we did not. We just drew spells after our buffs. I think that's what's a lot of that kind of stuff's gonna be like that. All right, very good. I did not like that card in the hand. All right, let's draw Sejuani after buffs. I think we have something on that case. I don't really need to attack for five right here. We could, but it's not like I'm going to be going that wide anyway. Tentacles off the spectacles, please. What was that card? I 
Let's see what that card was. Is that Glorious Evolution? Trust their diet excludes yodels. Many tribes under one banner. Show them what I took you, Mort. This is our homeland. Prove your worth. I was supposed to be challenging that thing with the revenant and line my seven five. Get through. The same calling card from our other case. I think it was glorious evolution. Yeah, our Sejuani's dead, but we're gonna find another Sejuani. These are pretty big. Metal is perfection. No materials, no improvements. Arrows and hearth guards with overwhelm. I dropped everything. Perfect. Got rid of Death's Hand. You know, a spell. So now we can get, you know, like a Scion next. Or a Trifarian and a Cessor. Alright, so I could... Okay. I could open attack or I could draw four. I think, I think we'll probably draw four, right? Over open attack. Yeah, Lost Soul is the only thing that doesn't really work with the, with our buffs. Uh, because, yeah, whenever we discard Lost Soul, it doesn't keep the buff. Um, besides Lost Soul, everything else works well with the buffs. I think I'm going to keep this entire hand. The Death's Hand is like the thing that I could see getting rid of. Maybe we do get rid of Death's Hand. Because, like, Death's Hand will kill Teemo, but it doesn't... It's not going to kill, like, a lot of Caitlyn or a lot of Demacia stuff. Oh, we got both fossils. Oh, and they do have Teemo. It's, that was the only reason to keep that card. Yeah, we do have these things. All right, well, I'm glad Ruthless Raider is not trading with Stinky Wump. I'm happy for that. Yeah, cutting the second Assessor was one of the last cards that we cut, you know, like whenever we're trying to go down to 40 cards and trying to figure out what to get rid of. Um, the second Assessor was one of the very last cards. Zahn taught me to never let my guard down. Fight or die. Give me chase. Okay, if we do draw a Flash Bomb Trap, hopefully it hits Ruthless Raider. Or not. The Winter's Claw! Oh, if mushrooms could fall. I'll have what he's having. Guess we want the plunder. Need more mana. So we're play more cool stuff. And we yordles in uniform do like a wump. On foot. Pay 
Play dirt. <laughs> I figured if I played Revenant before attacking last round, they would probably kill Revenant. And so just getting more mana. And keep playing more stuff was the way to go, because we're going to need to race. With a lot of overwhelm. Good. Let's see that's supposed to hit. Yeah, I'm not sure why they didn't also play that first <clears throat> to double up and get, you know, uh, 16 more puff caps with that. So before that Teemo hit, I don't know. I don't know why they need that extra mana. Yep, maybe Prismatic Barrier. Sharpsight's an awesome card. The Sharpsight's what we were kind of missing with Heimer Lux. I think we're supposed to play that card. Wow, just a Radiant Strike? So I guess that's what it was. It was Sharp Sight plus Radiant Strike. So I don't really want to play these things that say draw cards. We're going to play Lost Soul instead. We open attack. I mean, our other option, of course, is just playing this Twin Blade Revenant first, but I think we open attack. What a mushroom help. It's like we play this, they play some other blocker. I definitely just wanted to play the Roar of the Slayer. I want to get rid of this Peddler. But of course, maybe they have another Teemo. But it's it's not reliable at killing Teemo. We've seen them have the, the, the pump spells. My pretties. So now that Stinky Womp could go on top of the deck where it's only two Poison Puff Caps instead of a lot more Poison Puff Caps. Zero. Just one. Hopefully that's just Mystic Shot. Wow, it is just Mystic Shot. Wow, we just need to draw two. That's too bad for my opponent. Whenever you know, our cards average four puff caps, and we just need to draw two. And we only hit one. That's that's the puff cap life. That's the puff cap life for us. And we got the Teemo deck again. Maybe I'll keep Death's Hand for Teemo this time. But they would have had... They would have had, you know, pump spells to save it. I don't really want to keep this Legion Grenadier. I guess we're just keeping Ballista Ballista. 
think we should have a Teemo Peddler Nami deck. And a bunch of spells. Give him Puff Caps and Buff Teemo. Bye, bye, Nasher. Have a good day at, at work. A chill in the air. You think I should? You don't like the Mulligan? Why is that? Vandal Scout Troop Leader, at your service. Well, you're certainly the fuzziest partner I've worked with. All right, let's see how they attack. Okay. I'll take everything. So we can troll chant, kill Caitlyn, or yeah, I mean I think that's all we do. Zero mana. I think we should be able to just do this, right? Like zero mana, that should work. Flash bomb trap? No. Leave nothing standing. If it's a fight they want. Ah! Alright, wanna play Wolf Rider? We feast tonight, Varg. You would have kept the one drop and mold everything else. What what one drop did I mold again? Oh, the reborn grenadier? important to kill this thing actually kind of rather have five puff caps than two flash bomb traps How are we going to turn on Plunder for you, Tusk Raider? Haven't figured that out yet. So, Frelly Order, of course, is a Frostbite region. I'd rather them Frostbite Wolf Rider. Like, if their plan is, like, Frostbite something, I don't want them Frostbite into five. Okay. Lots of overwhelm. Overwhelm's a great keyword. We survived. That's that's kind of what happened in these games. We survived and we overwhelmed. All right, so that's Scion Sejuani. Uh, got a good record there. You know, we uh, played a lot of close games. We were getting some luck, uh, winning some close games. We got some puff cap luck in there. Um, but yeah, you know, just. Just big overwhelm stuff. I was very impressed with the Wolf Rider. That was actually, uh, we were actually being able to turn on that plunder quite a bit. Getting those empty mana gems that was actually helping us out with the ramping. You know, like that with Death's Hand was a really good combination. And then, you know, of course, just like earlier overwhelm units or Blade's Edge could also do a little bit of work. Um, but then Avros and Hearthguard looked really good. Buffing up all sorts of stuff. And then the, you know, have the champions in the late game. The only game that we lost, we just kind of stopped drawing units and we drew like seven of our ten spells even though we had like a couple hearth guards and just couldn't get those um, extra champions or, you know, big things to finish the game out. Um, but that's all right. That happens. Uh, but besides that, got a lot of wins. All right. So that's Scion Sejuani. Those of y'all watching later on YouTube, hit that like button over there. And as always, leave those comments and let me know how y'all like these decks. Hopefully y'all have some other good deck ideas. These are all viewer submitted decks this week. Lots and lots of cool, unique decks just like this one we didn't get to do the tusk raider plus scion combo that's you know a little um, unfortunate that we didn't get to put those two together but besides that everything else went well all right but that's it for this one so thank you so much for watching and i'll see you for the next video